According to one version, the Scythians are considered the ancestors of the Ukrainians. These steppe tribes were famous for their high level of combat capability and defeated even Alexander the Great, who was considered an invincible commander. The entry of the Ukrainian armed forces into the Kursk region and rapid advancement deep into Russia is precisely the signature Scythian style, wrote a Russian opposition political strategist in a column for the publication Point Media. Today, Ukrainians are doing the same thing that the Scythians demonstrated two and a half thousand years ago in the war with the Persians, who invaded the territory of the northern Black Sea region. The sudden raids on the rear not only unpleasantly surprised the Persian army of Darius, but also exhausted it to such an extent that it had to leave the lands of the Scythians. Now the Ukrainian armed forces are demonstrating a model of warfare that awaits the Russian Federation in the foreseeable future. Galyamov believes the Russians will attack the Ukrainians head-on with all their might and the Ukrainians in turn will hit them here and there, suddenly appearing in the most unexpected places. In such conditions, a war of conquest immediately loses its popularity. People begin to think that since our army does not know how to fight, it was necessary not to even start. Like Yerema Yerema, you should have stayed at home. So it will become even more difficult for Putin to recruit contract soldiers for the war, the oppositionist predicted. Galyamov also emphasized that Ukraine has regained the initiative not only in the military, but also in the political sense of the word, demonstrating the victory of intelligence over brute force. Let us recall that Abbas Galyamov ridiculed the Kremlin's actions against the backdrop of events in the Kursk region. Now the Russian authorities will cause much more negativity in society. A guest on Russian state TV has floated the idea of a nuclear strike on Russia's Kursk region amid a cross-border raid by Ukraine that has so far seen its forces occupy at least 11 settlements, according to Newsweek. The remarks were made by propagandist Sergei Mardan on the show Solovyov Live. A portion of the broadcast was posted to social media by Anton Gerashchenko, a former advisor to Ukraine's interior ministry. Russian propagandist Mardan threatens a tactical nuclear strike on armed forces of Ukraine soldiers in the Kursk region, wrote Gerashchenko. That's because Kursk region is an indigenous historical Russian core, he explains. Apparently, different regions of Russia have different value for him. Newsweek recalls that thousands of Kursk residents have been evacuated and a state of emergency has been declared in the area that borders Ukraine's northeastern Sumy region. Ukraine on Tuesday deployed troops and armored vehicles into Kursk, and Russian President Vladimir Putin and his defense ministry has since sought to downplay the scale of Ukrainian advances in the region. Those warheads that could possibly be attached to some Russian missiles are capable of doing a little bit more damage, said Mardan on state TV. He added that he believes the world would be upset if Russia uses nuclear weapons in response to the Kursk offensive, but that the public would eventually understand that it was a logical decision. And as for all the opinions that have been discussed over the last two years about the impossibility of a nuclear strike by Russia, what could be the consequences? What could be the reaction of the West and the Global South in particular? Well, in this situation, I am personally absolutely convinced that the reaction will be, well... Everyone will be upset, of course, a little bit. But in general, they will say, OK, it's logical, Mardan said. What did you expect? The fighting is not just on Russian territory. Kursk region is such a Russia that I don't even know what to compare it to. Such an indigenous historical core, the Russian core. And there's fighting going on there right now. Mardan said, therefore, a scenario in which a strike is launched against AFU military facilities with the use of nuclear warheads ceases to be theoretical, ceases to be unlikely.